Hey YouTubers, this is a quick video I just wanted to throw up for people who are building their own ARs and trying to decide between these enhanced uh, charging handles. I'm on a couple of groups uh, of with uh, people on Facebook who are building um, uppers and lowers and AR-15 variants from Palmetto State Armory. And uh, so I've kind of fallen into that uh, hobby and now it's become a full-blown addiction. I'm building things left and right. And I'm partial to these Radian Raptor LT charging handles, but Palmetto State Armory just came out with their enhanced uh, charging handle. I don't know how long ago it was, but it seems like it just popped up on the market fairly recently. And so I've been seeing a lot of people comment and ask questions in the Palmetto State Armory's uh, Facebook group asking basically if they're any good and uh, you know how do they compare with other enhanced um, uh, charging handles. So starting first with the Radian, uh, I'll get my bias out of the way up front. Uh, I used to live in Central Oregon over in Bend and Radian is made in uh, Redmond which is about uh, 15, 20 miles outside of Bend. So I, I like to support an Oregon company and so when I heard that these were made in Oregon I bought three of them and I'm running them on a couple of different uh, ARs. Uh, Radian's been around for a long time. They have lots of variants. I just happened to pick the Raptor LT because it looked best for my purposes, but they have so many different colors and variants that I can't speak to all of them. All I can say is that the ones that I bought from them uh, work very well and they have a really nice fit and finish. The Palmetto State Armory uh, unit that came out, um, it's interesting. It's got I'll show you a couple of things that I think are different. I think there's probably three or four differences that I have noticed. So first and foremost, when, you, when you're holding them in person, this may be difficult to see on the video, the Palmetto State Armory unit, and I'll try to keep them, I'll try to keep it consistent in the right hand here. Um, this feels bigger. Uh, it feels like the, the, the wings on the side, the, you know, the, the handles are larger than the Radian. But the interesting thing is it's a little bit of, a, of an illusion. The actual thickness isn't really different between the two of them. This is just about 10, just shy of 11 millimeters. And I'm gonna measure in millimeters because I think that's easier for small increments like this. And then here you got, so the difference between 10.6 and like 10.7 you know, millimeters. So there's no difference really in terms of thickness. But with the Palmetto State Armory, charging handle, what's interesting is that there's a little bit of ridge around here, which uh, will help you if you're running like suppressed, it helps keep gas from blowing back into your face. Now I haven't personally experienced that, but I'm gonna try it out this weekend. From all the reports that I've read online, these do a really good job of keeping gas on suppressed guns from blowing back in your face. So that ridge there is definitely a difference. The, the uh, Raptor LT doesn't have that. The other thing that's noticeable is that the wingspan of the handles uh, is much wider. Uh, maybe not much wider, but it's, it's, it's definitely noticeable in terms of its width. I'll, I'll stack them here so you can kind of compare. You can definitely see that the Palmetto State Armory unit on the bottom has a little bit more reach on the sides. And so if you've got big hands, big fingers, I think you're going to like the Palmetto State Armory unit a little bit more. The one other thing that I've noticed uh, just visually is that you've got these sort of ridges on the sides of the Raptor LT and um, you know they're on the back here and you don't have those on the Palmetto State Armory. I don't know why you would need ridges on the back. They don't serve any real purpose because you would never be doing anything like this. You just would you know push it back if you needed to but it doesn't have to have sort of an action grip on the back here. What you want are the ridges on the front because that's where you're going to be pulling. So uh, this one has them on the back and then it's of course got the ridges on the front, but that's, that's another difference. These are plastic, I should say, if that's not visible. And this is all metal. So if you like aluminum, if you want it to be all aluminum, great. Uh, we're gonna check out the weight in a minute and see if it makes much of a difference, but that's one other thing that's noticeably different. So let's get out the handy dandy scale here. Again, I'm gonna go, I think it's easier to go in millimeters and grams when you're measuring small increments. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. So let's take a look here with different uh, units that were already in grams. Okay, so the Radian, Get the logo lined up there is 
34K. It rested, well, it's going back and forth between 34 and 35 grams. Okay, and there's a little bit of a hair on there. Let's just make sure we don't have anything that's messing it up. All right, so we're at 35 grams for the Raptor. And we're at 39 grams for the Palmetto State Armory charging handle. So just a couple of grams difference. Um, I think that that makes sense given that this is all metal and also that you got this ridge here. They probably save a little bit of weight on the Raptor with the polymer. So uh, one last thing I'll say about these. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Uh, I know that when I'm trying to buy stuff, you know, especially gun stuff, you know, you want to read reviews and hear what others have to say. And sometimes it's handy, just somebody will post something so you can get different views of it. The one other thing I'll say about the two of these is in person looking at them, the fit and finish is awfully similar. So anybody online who's, I, saw, I read some reviews, people are saying this was really scratchy and rough and it didn't run very well. Um, that's not been my experience. Uh, it slid right into my rifle, no problem. And then the Raptor, of course, had no problems either. I do think that if you're comparing them side by side and you're really nitpicking and looking very carefully, the Radian has a slightly slicker finish. It's a little bit more glossy, but the Palmetto State Armory is definitely, it's not like it's parkerized or it's been phosphate coated or you could like, you know, sharpen your nails on it or something like that. It's not an emery board. It's not rough. But if I were to compare them side by side, I'd have to concede that the Raptor is a little more slick. It's a little more glossy. So if that's important to you, um, then, uh, you know, then make your decision that way. I know in the future, what I'm going to be doing is these Raptors are so frequently on sale that unless Palmetto State Armory drops the price on this, I probably will still keep buying the Raptor because I actually like the polymer on the side. I like that it's lightweight and I like that it's made in Oregon. But I wouldn't hesitate for a second, you know, if those sorts of things aren't important to you, I wouldn't hesitate for a second to not buy the, uh, you know, to, to buy the uh, Palmetto State Armory charging ha handle because it's a really nice handle and I definitely think it's worth, worth 50 bucks. So again, I hope that's helpful. If you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I don't post a whole lot of gun videos, but I plan on doing some more in the future.